For Lingiari. Thank you, yeah, Mr Speaker. Yeah. Mr Speaker, the decision by the ABC to cease operation of the short wage services in the Northern Territory is both irresponsible and uninformed, and I might say just plain wrong. Uh, Senator uh, Mullandary McCarthy, the member of Solomon, Mr Gosling and myself have made it unequivocally clear to the ABC management that we disagree with their decision to switch off shortwave services, that it was done without consultation. Not only was it done without consultation, it was done without any appropriate alternative technology in place to replace the shortwave services that are currently relied upon by so many people across, Australia, across the north of Australia. This service has provided the only reliable source of information and entertainment to remote communities, pastoral stations, employees and their employees, rangers, truck drivers, campers, fishermen, uh, travellers and a multitude of other people who live in the north. Yet their views have been totally disregarded by the ABC, who took this decision without any intent to consult with or consider the views of those listeners, those most loyal listeners to the ABC who live in this remote, these remote regions of Australia. Anyone who drives up the Stewart Highway, just the Stewart Highway, let alone go off the Stewart Highway, will soon understand and appreciate the importance of having access to shortwave because the AM and FM services just don't cut it. And what we've learnt is that this decision was made by the ABC to uh, apparently around $1.2 or $1.3 million saving to allow the expansion of digital services to urban areas. What does this say about what the ABC thinks of the bush? Their decision has been treated with dismay and anger across the north. And that anger has not been dissipated despite the fact that the, the services were closed down at the end of last month. Tracy Hayes, the Chief Executive of the Northern Territory Cattlemen's Association, has said the issue that is of concern is that the ABC has failed to have a discussion with people in the bush to consult and provide any reasonable notice or explanation about the cost of the shortwave service in the Northern Territory. The ABC will be providing digital radio to people in the city who already have a magnitude of options to connect and taking away the only option for people in the bush who don't have reliable internet access, mobile reception, satellite services, mobile satellite services or radio. Louise Bellato, the Executive Officer of the Northern Territory Trans Road Transport Association, said, and I quote, This is yet another example of double standards, with those who live and work in remote Australia simply being expected to put up and shut up. The ABC should be proud to deliver services to the bush, where they've probably got a greater listenership audience per capita than they do in the city. Hear, hear to that. Now, Mr Deputy, Mr Speaker, this issue now belongs squarely in the lap of the government. The Minister for Communications, Senator Fifield, has been all but absent in the discussion. Yet here he, here he is, he's got a responsibility. He said in a letter, in response to a letter to the Honourable Stephen Jones, MP, he said, this decision, I quote, this decision is no way related to government funding, which was confirmed for the last three years in the last budget. Therefore, Pontius Pilate wiping their hands. And then he says, goes on further, while the ABC has since confirmed its decision, the government is confident the public broadcaster has learned some valuable lessons about uh, community consultation and engagement in regional and remote areas. Well, in this sort of new post-truth world, and the fact that we now know that the fake news of the ABC relating to this issue is clear and abundant to all who care to have a look, this decision can be quickly dealt with by the government, by the government making available the $1.2 or $1.3 million that is required to reinstate this service. This service should be reinstated until the ABC, and, and so that the ABC can undertake a proper process of consultation to understand, to properly understand the impact of the decision on remote, the northern, remote areas of the Northern Territory and elsewhere in Australia, which they clearly don't understand, and to make sure there is an appropriate available technology to take its place, which there is currently not. Now, why should people who live in remote Australia suffer because of the idiocy of the ABC management and the ignorance of the, of the Australian government? Now, clearly, it's not up to us to direct the ABC board. But it is up to us to say to the government, you have it in your hands the capacity to change this decision by giving the ABC the money that is required to restart the shortwave transmitter services across the north of Australia. The Prime Minister has been written to by uh, the Honourable Bill Shorten. No response. Well, I say to the Prime Minister, show remote Australia what you really think of them and do something positive for once instead of sitting on your hands.